Hello my dear students in the last class we have discussed about solid waste in this session we will discuss about solid waste management it includes the various processes of collection storage transport and disposal or reuse of solid waste materials the proper management of waste is important because any improper disposal of waste would constitute a major cause for environmental degradation and significant health problems domestic waste are collected in garbage bins set up by the municipal authorities at different places or they are collected by private or municipal workers it is then transferred to community bins from there they are carried to the disposal site at the disposal site the waste are sorted out into biodegradable and non biodegradable material disposal is the final stage in the solid waste management safe disposal of solid waste is important for safeguarding the public health as well as environment here we will discuss about some of the disposal methods for solid waste these are open dumping landfilling incineration composting anaerobic digestion and recycling firstly open dumping the solid waste collected are dumped in low lying areas usually on the outskirts of the town or village it is the easiest method but unscientific Open dumping is the simplest and inexpensive method on trash disposal which only needs a large scale of area to dump trashes usually low swampy areas are chosen for it open dumping has more disadvantages instead of it is advantages even it is disadvantages tend to become dangers therefore it is better to avoid this method in trash disposal The disadvantages of open dumping are it emits foul smell it causes extreme nuisance to the public staying in the vicinity since the open dumps are uncovered the food waste attract dogs cats birds rodents etc it provides places for germs insects and infective pathogens to grow so it causes spreading of diseases Moreover open dumping waste generate fire hazards open dumping prone to cause slide down it contaminates ground water it occupies unnecessary large area another method of solid waste disposal is landfilling it is also known as land treatment or sanitary landfill a landfill site is a site for the disposal of waste material it is also known as a tip dump rubbish dump garbage dump or dumping ground then what do you mean by landfill a landfill is an engineered method for land disposal of solid and hazardous waste landfilling is the term used to describe the process by which solid waste is placed in the landfill landfills for individual waste constituents such as combustion ash asbestos and other similar waste are known as monofills landfills for the disposal of hazardous waste are called secure landfills the purpose of landfilling is to bury or alter the chemical composition of the waste so that they do not pose any threat to environment or public health landfills are usually made up of cells in which a discrete volume of waste is kept isolated from adjacent waste cells by a suitable barrier it is a depression in an impermeable soil layer that is lined with an impermeable barrier for example clay or plastic to prevent leaching of the material into the ground water solid waste is placed in a suitably selected and prepared landfill site in a carefully prescribed manner the waste material is spread out and compacted with appropriate heavy machinery several layers may be compacted on top of one another to a maximum depth of about 10 feet 
the waste is covered each day with a layer of compacted soil to eliminate wind blown litter odors and insect or rodent problems aerobic microorganisms decompose organic material in the waste until the oxygen present in the waste gets exhausted anaerobic microorganism then decompose it producing methane which is poisonous and explosive the gas is blocked by impermeable barriers made in the landfill and then vented to the surface using a venting system it is collected safely diluted with air and dispersed into the atmosphere or used for beneficial purposes the diagram shows the cross section of an active landfill it contains daily cover refuse cell leachate collection plastic liner clay barrier the daily cover means that no landfill refuse is left exposed overnight at the end of each day all refuse is covered with at least 6 inches of compacted soil the refuse cell is the compacted garbage surrounded by soil from daily cover in the leachate collection perforated pipes in a layer of sand collect rain water that has filtered through the landfill the plastic liner prevents soil and water contamination the clay barrier prevents soil and water contamination in order to prevent environmental damage originating from landfills some safety measures are taken this include landfills are located in such places where clay deposits and other natural land features will assist in preventing contamination from the landfill to the natural environment perforated pipes in a layer of sand are used to collect the rain water that has filtered through the landfill the highly contaminated liquid called leachate collected and is treated before disposed wells are drilled around the landfill to monitor ground water quality a methane recovery system is introduced into the landfill to prevent pollution by methane produced from anaerobic degradation and the recovered methane is used for beneficial purposes if possible if properly implemented the sanitary landfill method has several advantages The method is one of the cheapest and most practical methods of solid waste disposal. The method provides sufficient importance to control environmental pollution. The method does not require highly skilled staff. No overload dangers are involved. Methane gas tapping is possible in a well controlled sanitary landfill and the gas can be used as fuel. In addition to provide an option for waste management it also serves to improve or reclaim poor quality land it raises the ground elevation or surface grade of the site completed landfills have been converted to municipal parks playgrounds golf courses community land use projects after a landfill serves its purpose the land can be reclaimed for useful purposes It is the most economical alternative for solid waste disposal which accounts for its frequent application. Other disposal methods are not entirely safe and efficient throughout the year. The incineration is a costly process. Residue requires ultimate disposal on land. Composting is a seasonal option. It is not possible to reclaim and recycle all solid waste material. this landfilling is the most convenient option however a sanitary landfill has some disadvantages a sanitary landfill requires a large area of land the leachates as well as gas emission from a landfill must be regularly monitored heavy compacting and consolidating machinery are required a landfill causes massive pollution of soil air ground water and nearby water bodies so a landfill cannot be built in an environmentally sensitive area it has to be built in a place where natural land features will assist in preventing pollution of the natural environment another solid waste disposal method is incineration 
it is the most common thermal waste treatment method which involves the controlled combustion of the combustible ingredients of the waste in air so that the waste is reduced in volume to a large extent to yield a residue containing no combustible material incineration of waste can be carried out at a controlled temperature around 900 to 1100 degrees celsius in an oil fired plant with a fixed refractory hearth or with moving grates hydraulic cranes lift up the waste and deposit it into the furnace hoppers of the incinerator the air is supplied using an air blower incineration converts the waste into ash flue gas and heat the ash is produced mainly from the inorganic constituent of the waste the organic compounds in the waste undergo combustion to yield mainly carbon dioxide water and oxides of nitrogen along with some sulfur oxides the smoke in the effluent gases is removed by electro precipitators or by a spray system before releasing the gases to air the ash produced is disposed into landfills this is the diagram of a great incinerator used for incineration of solid waste disposal the energy released during incineration of waste can be utilized either directly as heat itself or indirectly for generating electricity such waste to energy technology is fast gaining acceptance incineration methods have some advantages this include incineration brings about a volume reduction of the waste by about 90% which ensures an economic transport to a landfill and an easier disposal taking very little space unlike the landfill method incineration facilities require only a very small area of land the incinerator can be placed close to the waste generation or storage areas so that the transportation cost can be reduced the flow heat generated from incineration can be utilized as such for energy requiring purposes it can also be used via proper arrangements to convert water into steam in boiler systems which can then be utilized to run steam turbine generators to produce electricity such waste to energy technology becomes economically viable if the calorific value of the waste is high the incineration method has some disadvantages also the incineration of waste results in the emission of air pollutants to the environment that degrade urban air quality and are hazardous to human health burning of plastic components of the waste emits dioxins which are carcinogenic the need for higher standards of emission controls necessitates technologies that require very large capital investments and high maintenance cost the setting up of waste to energy plants is a relatively expensive option requiring skilled manpower and adoption of high level technologies electricity generation using the flow heat in boilers is not economically feasible for developing countries because the waste content does not provide enough fuel value for profitable energy production burning of wet waste often requires adding supplemental fuel which brings higher cost to the operation today we have discussed about the solid waste management here we found that there are a number of ways for the disposal of solid waste here we have discussed open dumping landfilling and incineration in the next part we will discuss about composting anaerobic digestion and recycling methods for the disposal of solid waste thank you